All right, so you you get this. Uh, what is it? Spinach. What is it? Parsley. Uh, I don't know the other words in English, man. <laughs> okay, so what do you do with this? This is one of the main ingredients for this gourmet sabzi. I would say this is the main ingredients. The other ingredients you can, you know, change almost however you want. But this is dried herbs. Okay, dried herbs. All right. So what are you gonna do with this dry herb? I'm gonna soak it for a couple of hours. Okay. Looks like uh, grass. Literally looks like grass. So is it supposed to be really wet yes. or? Really, really wet. Really, really wet. Yeah. But it's so dry, so you need to like, you know, mix around. Okay. Mm. Why don't you just pour water all the time? Because then it's gonna be dry in the bottom, and that's gonna be when I stir it. It's mm. gonna, you know. It's gonna be dry in the bottom. Yeah. You would think See, it, it would floats. be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a horse or cow food. This is what the farmers give <laughs> their uh, animals. That is what it looks like. Yeah. Like I showed people this, this dish, especially Nemo. He thought it looked like baby shit. Mm. Becomes a bit lumpy. I wanna, you know, mm -hmm. loosen up all the lumps. Okay. Oh. Then I will stir it a few times. Yeah. Stir it and then. No, I, I will leave it now. You leave it now. How long? At least. Absolutely, at least two, three hours. Two, three hours. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same with but the rice. In the meantime, I will stir it a bit, okay. so you know the top will go. Okay. You. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then the rice. We're gonna do the same with the rice. Yep. This is basmati rice, right? Yep. So I will soak it now with a bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Salt, okay. Yeah, stir it. And then I'm gonna Rinse. Rinse. A few times. You're gonna rinse away some of this uh, starch. starch. Yep. Okay. You see the water? Right, let me zoom it in. Yeah, you can you can't see the rice. That will rinse. I will leave this for a few hours, go and chill, relax. So rinse and repeat this for uh, ten times maybe. Yeah. So so the water becomes clear. Yep. And then for a few hours you let these two rest. Yep. Then we come back. Yep.
right. What do you got? Three garlic. Yep. Three onion. And three onions. Yep. What are you gonna do with them? Chop them. No way. Okay. Quite a lot. Refill this. Okay. And then you have the three onions and the three garlics all smashed up. Yep. Alright. All smashed up. Yes. It's not that hot, but okay. It needs to be hotter. Yeah. A bit. That's quite a lot of salt. If you think of how much gourmet is gonna be, it's nothing. Mmm. Okay. But basically, basically a, a big swing of salt. Like uh, maybe six swings of salt. <laughs> six swings. <laughs> or eight. All right. Here is the. Here's the grass. Yep. For the cows. And they've been in, in, it's sitting here Wait. for three hours. Yep. It really looks like grass. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, in a way, it's uh, it's it is grass. It's a form of grass. All right. Going back to the basics. Yep. Are you taking the remaining grass and putting it back in, eh? Yeah. They are washing, washing it some more. Yep. What are you trying to do? Um. Okay. Yeah. 
just so you know, you don't have a lot of sand and stuff like that. Ah, there could be sand in there. Hold on, is that sand? Like really? Dirt. Or what? dirt. Yeah. From the Spanish things. Yeah, parsley. Oh, so now you're just making sure everything is rinsed out. Okay. You let it yeah. filter out. Now we need to go to the Mm-hmm. So why do we do this uh, in first? Flavor. Flavoring in the onions and the... Yeah, onion. And the garlic. Yep. See how much water? Oh shit. Need to dry it out. Not completely. It's what? gonna, you know, when it comes, hits the pan, it's gonna disappear. Va mm. How do you say? Vaporize? Vaporize. Yeah. Usually, how, how long does this take, the onion? A few minutes, soon ready. They put a sea so it gets soft. A few minutes. Yeah. So it gets soft and yellow. Yeah. Almost like yellow transparent. Transparent yellow. gonna fry and it's gonna turn dark green dark. it is dark green but it's gonna be almost black almost black yeah mixed with the onion yep and we're gonna need to add some oil do you see how fast the oil disappeared oh by the green yeah. spinach thing mm -hmm. it soaked it up yep i'm gonna add some oil i'm just gonna mix it up a bit add some oil Whatever oil this is. Raps olia. <laughs> Raps. Raps. Raps oil it's called. And oil with not too much flavor. Oil with too, not too much flavor. So not olive oil. Alright, that was some oil right there. Yeah. So this process will take a time, some time. Half an hour, 20 minutes. Half an hour, you have to uh, yep. cook it like this. <laughs> and do you stand here for a half an hour? I usually do, yes. And just keep mixing it? Yeah, I can go back and forth, you know. You can let it simmer and then okay, go. But you need to stir also. You need to stir a lot. Mm. To mix in the oil and the onions. onions. And, uh, 
no, not burn it. Yeah. Because this can burn. Of course, everything in a pan can burn. <laughs> No, this is the kind of dish that don't <laughs> burn. This cannot burn. Uh, and you're gonna see when you come back that this is gonna change color to very dark. Wood. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna stand here for half an hour. Oh, no. you're not? No. no. So I'll see you soon then. Yeah. So, half an hour. All right, so now this is 30 minutes later. And you can see that it turned really dark green. You should be able to see that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now it goes into the pot. It into not... this pot. This pot. Why does it go into this pot? Because we're gonna boil it now. Now we're after. Okay, we're gonna boil it. Yeah, this is a process. Gourmet Samsi, you don't do in like you know an afternoon. Yeah, this is a this is a process. Yeah, but it's so worth it, and I don't mind it either. I like it. it smells nice. Also, it smells fresh. It does, right? That's the weirdest thing about this whole thing. It's so fresh. Same time, right? Yep. Well, then we have some ox broth. Ox broth yep. in water. Are you using Warm water, yeah. cooked water. And then you know we're gonna. But it, it doesn't need to be ox. It could be regular cow. Yeah, but usually you just, it, it is ox. If it's from the cow, it's called ox. Broth. Okay, my bad. Water. More water. And then it's gonna boil for a while, so most of the water here, a lot of water will disappear. A lot of this water will be disappearing after it's boiling. Yeah. Look at that. Now comes <laughs> the important ingredient. Yeah, look at this. Looks like the sewers. <laughs> but the smell is so fucking. The smell is so good, it's weird. Here we have the dry... The dry balls. Lime. Dry lime. So you don't want to put them in like this. You want to puncture it. Hold on, it. slow down. You need to puncture it a bit. You need to puncture the dried yeah. le uh, lemons. Mm. So the liquid, you know, goes in there. So you get all the flavors from this. Now they are gonna break after you boil it for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, as you know. Okay. They are hard. They're very hard. You don't hard. wanna do this with a knife because if you slip, you're gonna. Yeah. I prefer doing this with a wood one so I don't hurt myself. Yes, they are very hard. So that's a toothpick. Yeah. You need to find the weak spot here. In the... And do you have any set amount of these? I like a lot of these. Maybe you're not supposed to use as many, but... Also remember, I'm doing this as your mom taught me. Mm. So, and she... She used a few. Mm. So they're gonna be mixed in with all that green stuff. So really, in this, what we got is the spinach mix, gourmet sabzi mix, mm. onions and garlic, oil, salt, and the uh, ox broth 
and now dried lime. Dried lime. Oh, it's not lemons, it's lime. Dried lime. Because your uh, toothpick is broken. Yeah. Sure you they, 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 they smell uh, fresh. Yeah. Ah, broke, broke. totally. Ah. Yeah, so now we got six balls in there. Now they're floating, but soon they will be all soft. And they will mm. look like meatballs. Yeah, and that's the thing, because you're gonna have meatballs in this, and when it's done, it's gonna be looking like meatballs, but it could be a dried lime. Yeah, you need to be a bit careful then. Yeah, you wanna take out the because dry. Because usually I think you use lamb, right? Garmin Sabsi is with lamb. Yeah. Uh, we don't have lamb at home, so you can do it with, you know, Ox meat. Yeah. Wait there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So this is also a key ingredients. Kidney beans. Kidney beans. Now these I have, you know, soaked and boiled myself. My seal. My seal. My seal. You became Russian. Yeah. <laughs> and then I put them in the freezer. So you let always me, have. Let me see them. I only see the plastic. Yeah. Okay. And they go in. They go right in. But you could just take them from uh, a, a can. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I I do yeah. a lot myself. Natural. Yeah, I like it. They mix the kidney beans and uh, dry lime. Mm -hmm. so, so. This is gonna cook for a while. Yeah, and in the meantime, I'm gonna do. Uh, the meat cuts. I need to prepare a bit for it so you can. Okay. Off. Meatballs. All right. So now we got the minced meat. Yeah. And in this kind of meatball for grammar subsea, I usually don't have too much things going on in there. I have no eggs and I have no bread, nothing. Because mm -hmm. I just want the meat. Uh, keep it fresh, keep it light, you know? Okay. So uh, we have um, some more onions. Onion. Then you're gonna no. stick your hands in this. No, because if the more this is like a dough, the mm -hmm. more you you know, knoda. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The more you work with this, yeah. it's gonna be stiffer and harder. And what you mm -hmm. want, you know, you don't want. No. Okay, you don't want it to be stiff and hard. So we have some white pepper. White pepper. And then this is a special mixture of. I don't know what to Spice. call this, yeah. When you smell it, you can describe it. It's a bit strong, it's so, a bit sweet. That kind of smells like Indian stuff. Uh, it's a bit Indian, but I use it's paprika. So I just take, you know, a bit of this, just to get, you know, some interesting flavor on the meatballs. That's basically the only thing I need. And then we're gonna add some broth to get the salt. So no salt in here, mm -hmm. because the broth is very salty. It's a thick kind of thick, mm. thick. It's a thick. It's a thick broth. Ah, uh, it's thick. Okay. So you don't need salt in this. Mm. That's the same ox broth. Yeah. yeah. This is more concentrated. And now you. How did you get it more concentrated? 
I added a bit more, less water. Less water to and the more, bread. Yeah, keep it more concentrated. Not too much water. Okay. So now you're gonna stick your hands in this meat. And ah, so now you gotta do it. Yeah. But not before. No, because you don't want to mix it for every ingredient. Oh, okay. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Don't do it too much. No, I mean with the meatballs, you know, mm. because usually you just, as I said, use lamb meat or ox meat or, you know, cow meat. Mm -hmm. So well, basically you could choose your own uh, Indian spice. You don't need Indian. You can put whatever spice you want. Just think that it's not going to take over the flavor from the gourmet sabzi. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna do the meatballs. See my hand so yeah. fatty. Yeah. Ah, I see. Are you just I usually do half, not too small, not too large. But you could also do. You don't have to do meatballs. No. You can just it's, do it's, it's regular meat. Meatballs is our invention. Yeah. You should have like cut meat only. Yeah. Hmm? It's Besides, what you prefer. You know. I think uh, we started with meatballs because of budget. Yeah. Yeah. During rough times. And yeah. then we just liked it. Yeah. I'm gonna be standing here for a while. So this is gonna take some time. Yep. Alright. This is how it looks now. Sticking it up a bit. You see the lines are starting to be consoled. But now, in with the meat. In with the meat. And here is the meat. There we go. Meatballs. So this is gonna be a bit crowded now. Mm -hmm. we need to put the push them down a bit. Because they're gonna, now gonna cook for a while. Yep. How long would that be? Well. They finish quite fast, but we want them. We want this, you know, to boil for a while with all the flavors and so. So this is now gonna boil for at least an hour. An hour. At least, uh, preferably more. Could you do it a quicker way? While, uh, like, uh, if you do the meatballs separately. No, no, and then you will lose all the meat flavors. Ah, uh, you want the meat. Of course. Flavor to go in here. That's the point. You need to be also careful when you push them in that you don't want them to break. And a few of them will not, you know, fit inside. So I will stir after like, you know, half an hour when they're, you know, boiled a bit hard. Because mm. now they will break if I do too much.
this is gonna be nice, right? Yeah. People might think this much hassle. Why would you? Well, I like being here in the kitchen. You know what? Yeah. If you weren't here filming, I will have music or a video or something. Yeah. So, I'm not gonna touch anymore because I don't want to break them. And now it's on with the lid. On with the lid. And see you in an hour. In an hour, so it, then we're gonna start to prep for the rice. Half an hour from now, you're gonna stir it. Yeah, just a bit, not too much either. Just okay. you know. Shake but then it a bit. in an hour, it should be done. And then we're gonna start with the rice. Then that will be the last part. Yeah. All right. While we wait, we're gonna do a simple lettuce salad with homegrown small tomatoes. Some are yellow, some are red. Doesn't really matter. I'm glad you clarified. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> color blind. salad. Now that's good. The tomatoes. Go out and get a forgotten cucumber and see if it's still there. Are you gonna get a homegrown cucumber? Fat. Yeah. It's hidden. Let's see. Eat it. It's like a cactus. Yeah. And it got like uh, thorns. Ah, that that's, you have to... yeah, that's the cactus. Ah, you. Oh, it looks nice. Peeling. Yeah. Hopefully, we will take a bite each and see if you can still eat it. Looks nice.
Some chili? No. It's not that strong. The chili. No, 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 fuck that. No. no. Right. So homegrown tomatoes and homegrown cucumber. What do yeah. you say about that? I say that's good. Then a bit of mayonnaise, right? Yeah. The secret sauce. Mix that fucker up. Maybe a little more. No. This is absolutely perfect. Okay. How does that look? Good. Right? <clears throat> All right, that's the salad. So, and here we have uh, water for the rice. For the rice, waiting for it to boil. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna stir it in the gourmet zabzi. And it's closing in. It's closing in. One is a bit thicker, but it will be. It will be there. Here you see the fried lime. So, so moist, mushy, like a. Yeah. It's one of the bits. Yeah, they look similar after a while. Yeah. See you in a bit with the rice then. Yeah. All right, so this is the rice that has been sitting in water for hours. Yep. Three, four hours. Yeah. And the water is not super clear, but clear enough for today. You decide how much you want to clear it and pour new water, but... Yeah. The clearer it is, the better rice, but you know, this is enough for me. Yeah. So this is a little bit different, the process, eh? So what do you do? So now we pour this here. You pour out all the water. save that bowl. You don't need to clean it or anything. You're gonna save it, okay. Save it. Now we're gonna just take off the lid. Water. In the process. Boil it. So we have boiling water over here. So what is uh, now? I'm gonna pour the rice into the boiling water. Foggy and shit there. Yeah, just but then it's gonna sound a bit better. Then we're so just gonna stir. The process. Careful. You stir very careful here because you don't want to break the rice because it's a bit soft now since it's been in water. Mm. So stir. Usually I use one of these, but they have holes in it, but it's stirred in our night. So, and this is for how long? Just a few minutes. You want it to start to boil and for the rice uh, to start to, you know, surface. Mm, we'll see, okay. We'll see it soon. So a few minutes. Yeah, and you need to taste it because you need to taste the rice and feel that it's almost ready. Not ready, but you have to feel it's a bit hard still. Okay, because this is a little bit different how yeah, you do this but, rice, yeah, right? Yeah, because then you're gonna pour off the water with the rice. Then you're gonna put some oil in this pan without any water, and then back with the rice and let it sit there. I'm gonna show you how. 
Okay. All right. So now it's like five, six minutes later. Ah, uh, not even that, but five minutes. Yeah. Do you see that it's boiling? And I tasted it. Almost done. Then you take it. Rinse it. Oh, water. Oh, there's water. Water there. It's okay because it's gonna, you know, disappear also. Oh, you Out and some stuck rice. Doesn't need to be so fancy. Some are, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Dry it up because then you're gonna pour oil in there. Yep. Gonna put it here. Back. And take down the heat to like first, yeah, five, seven. Pour some oil. Some oil in there. You know, simmering, yeah. Yeah, pieces of rice. <clears throat> now you need to move a bit. Mm -hmm. Here. Take this, the rice, and this is quite hot, so don't be in my way. I'm not in your way. And, uh, this is tricky. I need. Uh, you need to go to the other side. Okay. Gonna build a little mountain. Yeah, like this. Okay. Yes, like this. <laughs> then you take a towel mm -hmm. and you wrap around the lid. To, to catch the steam. Yeah, because otherwise the water will, you know, just drip down. And, the rain. and yeah, it will drip down on the rice and make it doughy. Yeah. So, so. Like this. And then we take down the temperature a bit like this because we want it fried but we don't you know want it yeah so the oil that you poured in will fry it will fry the bottom of the 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 rice eventually when it's done and this will be how long like this 20 minutes yeah something like 20 yeah 20 minutes 30 minutes 20 to 30, 20 to 30 minutes so we'll check in in 20 to 30 minutes and it's time to eat yeah all right. All right. So the rice is now done. The Twenty pizza. something minutes later. Yeah. But now. Yes. Take ice this cold water on the. On that thing. Whatever that is called. Something cold. Ice because cold. Because you're gonna put this whole thing on oh. this cold rag. Cold rag. Yeah. So take it, and now we're gonna listen. Then we can put the lid on just for a bit. We don't want cold rice, so we don't want to stick it up. This is so that the bottom of the rice, whoa, the bottom of the rice 
will become like crispy. Yeah, like, yeah. That is why you need to put the cold rag thing. You need to pour water on it so it's cold. You leave this open a little bit for some steam to get out. And here, here is the former sabzi being stirred. This is now done. But you can never cook for too long. No, no, no. But now we're hungry. Yeah, so this is. Here you see a piece of the of a lime. Yeah, you take that away if you like. Yeah, but don't don't take them out if you. Actually, we could have left it there, but you know. To leave taste. Mm. But it's just that you don't want to eat that. Yeah, I know. Because it's too much lime, you know. So here you go, Nemo. It's uh, what did he say? It was baby? Baby poo. Baby poo. Or um, sewer. But it looks, listen, this looks bad, but man is this good, it's crazy, in a weird, fresh way. Let's see if it's, we got some crispiness, water. rice. And we do. Here comes the panic. There you see the fried. It's like very crispy. Mm. That's what you want. Ooh. Yeah. That part is mine. Yeah, you're gonna have that part. Let me, so let me. Let us plate. There you go, that's the crispy, crispy rice, and that went quick. That went quick, the crispiness. Just like a minute or so. This is... And then we got the yogurt, natural yogurt. Here we got the rice. Yeah. plate just do a plate do your plate no it's too late because i'm okay that's good enough what? for this time you gotta fit soccer. everything you gotta fit everything okay Side. The side. No, 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 on, on all of it. Yeah. That's enough. Okay, right, right. And then the salad. Top it off. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Now you don't need to have as much yogurt as I do but the whole thing is to mix all of this together <laughs> you know what You're I mean? A mixer. Yeah to get an even even taste yeah 